Hey guys, I'm Lewis here, and welcome to episode 4, part 3, which is the novice part. Um, there are things, a few things here I would do differently from Militia and Mercenary. Um, first of all, let's talk to Thorben. This is not a good time for travelers. Bandits everywhere. No work, and now the farmers have risen up too. What winds have blown you here? I'm looking for work. Do you know anything about carpentry? The only thing I can make out of wood is a fire. And what about locks? Well... I'm sorry, but I can't use you if you know nothing about my trade. And I have no money to pay for an apprentice. What if I want to start an apprenticeship with one of the other masters here? All right. I shall give you my approval. But you had better get yourself the blessing of the gods first. Say, are you a man of faith? This is the first thing I would do differently, normal it is. Um, no, but since I'm novice, it's yes, yes I'm most humble, most humble servant. servant. Master Thorben. Then go to Vatras, the priest of Adenos, and have him give you his blessing. He will tell you where you can find a priest of Inos. You should get his blessing, too. Once you have received the blessing of the gods, I shall vote for you. So, you know a lot about locks. What good is a fine chest without a fine lock? I make my own locks that way. I can at least be sure I haven't built my chest that sturdy for nothing. A poorly made lock is easy to break. And there are plenty of thieves about in Corinth, especially lately. Can you sell me some lock picks? Well, all right, but they won't be of any use to you as long as you don't know how they work. Um, if you want to learn lock picking, there are two, op three options you have here. Otherwise, you will pay. Thorben after you get the blessings of the gods, you will pay Thorben 200 gold pieces and you will learn how to pick, how to pick locks or you will um, learn it through the thieves guild which will cost 150 gold or if you know how to pickpocket which you will learn in the thieves guild you will be you able to get it for free. Yes, Lamar's money manners. Gotcha. His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him actually, but one day he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinthus without a decent job. Is that so? All right. Let's what do you know about the paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmers' rebellion. Do you know anything about the peasants' rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the king's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, Ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. Oh, 
All right. I've come about Rita, Rita, my niece. What's your business with her? This isn't about money, is it? She owes 100 gold pieces to the merchant Matteo. Tell me this isn't true. Ever since that little piece of work moved in with me, I've had nothing but trouble. She's in debt with practically every single merchant in town. I had to borrow 200 gold pieces from Lamar, the money lender, just to settle her debt. And now this. Britta should be in the house. Go ahead, ask her. But I tell you this, she doesn't have a single gold piece. We shall see. Alright, thank you. We're gonna call to this Greta. Um because they can get us something that we need. You can do things differently here, you can force the gold off her or pay it for her. And since I'm a novice, I will do the back, second I one. Must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Greta. Ever since my also, if you pay it for her, her you will get extra son. experience. Um, around 500, I believe. If you still return it. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you, back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. I'm going to pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you were an greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Alright, let's pay this bill for her. And get this over with. But before I'm gonna do that, um... I'll first go to Ignaz, the Potion Master, to get myself the Oblivion Scroll, which will help me with Valentino and his side quest. Ah, you've come just in time. I'm in need of an assistant for a magic experiment. I'm sure you're eager to do me a favor for science's sake. Easy, my friend. First tell me what this is all about. I have developed a new spell, a spell of oblivion. I've already successfully carried out a few practical applications, but I don't have time to conduct one final test. What's in it for me if I help you? I could teach you how to brew potions. I know the recipes for healing and mana essences and for potions of great speed. Tell me more about the experiment and the spell. The spell serves to make somebody forget various events. So far, I have only found it to work when the person in question is angry, for instance. If he has been knocked down or robbed, even if he has only witnessed such a thing, he will scratch it from his memory. So I'm supposed to knock somebody down and then put a spell on him? That will make sense, because if you knock somebody down, it will piss them off. But, that won't do me any good here in the Harbor District, so I'll have to find my victim elsewhere. Yes, I think you get the point. But to make somebody angry, it is enough to attack him. You don't have to knock him down. So, you should hit somebody who's by himself. There are other people around, you'll just get into trouble with Lord Andre. Also, it makes no sense to cast the spell on someone who's busy attacking you. Right for the right moment. Alright, I'll try out that spell. Then take this spell scroll and find yourself a suitable guinea pig. Once you're done, come back and tell me how it went. Alright, now I'm going to let's see another sign, but I will quit reading the school first, just so I will remember that I have to use it. Um, I'm now going to deliver the gold to Matteo and get 
the first quest done. Here's your 100 oh, gold pieces. Gold. You wanna pay for her? I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, a hundred gold pieces is a hundred gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry, I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Alrighty then. Now well, as you already know this I'm getting myself a drink as usual. Um now we're going to talk to I think Solman again, just to see what he has to say, nothing, alright. Um let's talk to Greta. It was very noble of you to pay for me. I wanna show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last, there's somebody in town who's virtue. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Alright, um, let's talk to Constantino here. Um, because I'm a novice, I will join Constantino basically what because he will I'm sell me herbs away. cheaply than normal, I think. Um, I'm but basically be because princess. I really? will need all the plants oh, I will get. Um, since I will need them for healing essences or um, mana essences and things like that. And the other two things doesn't really work for um, novice and since I already picked them with the other two walkthroughs. Um, well, we'll pick them. I will join as Constantino's apprentice. What will I have to do to become your apprentice? I couldn't bear yet another dilettante on my conscience. There is a multitude of herbs out there. Used in different variations, they develop the most diverse effects. You probably don't even know half of them. <sighs> Here. This is a list of the most important plants. Bring me a plant of each kind, and I might reconsider taking you in as an apprentice. This plant's on very really hard. The other masters. Except for King Sorrel, we have to talk to um, one of the merchants in the market. Alright, now I'm going to Valentino. And just like the previous two, I will use my via arrow tactic here. Um, you can use bows, um, magic or anything else to distract him but this is basically the best way to get undetected uh, I'm not certain if you will get in trouble with Lord Andre I don't hope so but 200 gold pieces in exchange for 50 and a quest completed is a well trade for me if you ask me um, again do not take his key because you will get experience once you have, have learned how to pickpocket um, even though I'm a novice I will um, be a little corrupted and steal from the people uh, basically because I can and every little bit of gold helps but I would be kindly towards pers uh, to all the person alright don't take this key and before I'm gonna forget like previous two I will use it right now and then I'm certain it works uh, I'm going to talk to Fatchers okay. now. Adonis be with you. Who are you? I am Vatus, a servant of Adonis, guardian of the divine and earthly equilibrium. What can I do for you? Um, I will try to get my gamma a little lighter in the next episode. But uh, the game will look a bit hey, ugly then, um, on my part of you, because I saw this perfectly, um, sad news that fraps will make the videos darker. Um, so I will try to do something about it, but um, if it doesn't look good, I will use torches and dark. I got it from Cavalier, the hunter. Cavalier? Where is he? He told me to tell you he couldn't make it and is headed for the meeting point. Whatever he meant by that. 
I see that you have gained Catalonia's trust. That speaks in your favor. I want to join the Ring of Water. I do. But that means you have already fulfilled the first requirement. What do you mean by that? I mean there must be someone among us who trusts you. Otherwise, you wouldn't even know about it. But I know nothing about you at all. What do you want to know? Well, you could tell me where you come from and why you have come to the city. I carry an important message for the leader of the power. Let's be honest here, I do not what lie. Is this because if you lie, you will not get his blessing. A large army is gathering as we talk, led by dragons this, and determined um, to conquer the country. Forbidden. Dragons? You speak of beings which until now have only been mentioned in legends. How do you know this? Zardas, the magician, told me. He sent me to warn the paladins. The necromancer. So he lives. And he sent you. Who are you, really? I'm a former convict from the penal colony of Corinus. Good. Let us summarize. You are a former prisoner who has been told by Zardas, the necromancer, that dragons have come to conquer the country. And you have come to report this to the Paladins. That all sounds rather fantastic, but I cannot perceive that you are lying to me. Therefore, I must assume that your motives are honorable. I want to give you a chance to join the Ring of Water. All right. What must I do in order to join the Ring? Know that you take on great responsibility by joining the ring. I do not let just anyone join who comes to us and asks. If you want to join the ring, you will have to prove that you act like one of us. And that means... Before we let a young man join our ranks, he must have done a great deed for the ring. Only then can I begin to consider letting you help preserve the balance of forces on this island. I think I picked the other two, but it uh, will not work. So what so would be an appropriate one. deed that might convince you? Corinus is facing a great enigma these days. The number of people missing from the town seems to increase almost daily. If you can explain to me what happened to them, you shall have your place within the Ring of Water. However... Yes? You should take your message to the Paladins first. I consider it a matter of utmost importance. Talk to Lord Hagen. But Lord Hagen is not going to receive me. Yes, he will, no doubt about it. Provided you become a member of a powerful community first. The Ring has far-reaching connections. We shall assist you in conveying your message as soon as possible. You should talk about this to Laris, whom I trust. He will help you. What community should I join? There are only three communities that have enough influence. These are the city militia, the monastery of the fire magicians, and the troop of mercenaries on the landowner's farm. The choice is yours, son. Laris can certainly assist you with this difficult decision. Talk to him about it. I shall do that. Alright, um, let's talk about more. I want your blessing. Let me see. Can you heal me? Okay. Radanos, bless this body. Free it of its wounds and strengthen it with new life. Alright, thank you, Vatras. Um, I'll give you other options later. Um, let's see. Tell me about the Ring of Water. I almost forgot this one. Um, if you talk about this, um, you will get a hidden quest about weapon delivery in the session. So just do it. Um, I think I forgot it at the militia guide. But I cannot tell you that until you join the previous. I certainly have met some of them by that time. Where are the other water mages? They are exploring the ruins of an old culture northeast of Corinth. We suspect that those ruins 
might contain a passage to a part of the island which is as yet uncharted. Tell me more about that uncharted area. If you're interested in joining the expedition, I could send you to Saturnus with a letter. You can only participate, of course, as long as you're one of us. Of course. Of course. What exactly is it that you do? We stand between the Order of Innos and the Chaos of Belial. If one of the two sides should gain the upper hand, it will mean either total loss of freedom or deadly chaos. Therefore, we guard the balance between the two. That's what makes life in this world possible for all. And what does that mean in concrete terms? The fall of the barrier has evoked numerous threats. Bandits are probably the most obvious one. Not only has it become all but impossible to travel the island without being attacked, there's someone in town, too, who supports the bandits. We have found out that the bandits receive regular deliveries from a weapons merchant in Corinthus. We try to find such people and keep them from endangering the city. If you can find out anything about this, let me know. Alright guys, this is about the end of this episode. Um, I hope Wait, you enjoyed it you and rats, found it fun to watch. This um, Tell him that it needs to be I'll to go to the next episode in a bit. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next episode. And greeting from Holland as always.